going on everyone? NNY Angler Mike Bell here bringing you a tackle tip video and we are going to discuss my spinner bait trailer selection and when I'm using each one. I've got three main baits I'm going to go over on the big bite baits lineup. We're going to start off with one of my favorites and most commonly used and that is going to be the 3.3 to 3.8 paddle tail swim bait style. Right here is the perfect look as you can see they have a whole lot of action. You see one on a spinner bait here, which this is a War Eagle spinner bait. They're one of my favorites. Um, now the paddle tail here is just an awesome option if you need a whole lot of extra bulk. You want a lot of disturbance. You need a whole lot of action coming out of your spinner bait. This bait complements it perfectly. Um, fishing muddy water, that's another great option with this. Why this one's all chartreuse, one of my favorites in that situation. Now things are kind of little less active on the lake on the river let's say you need a little more finesse approach but you still don't want to sacrifice too much action out of your trailer jump down to a big bite baits kamikaze swim on this right here is an awesome accent to any spinner bait still has plenty of action as you can see here compared to the 3.3 pro swimmer it's a little bit smaller profile right there's the four inch it's more slender, but it's an awesome option. It has these little holes here in the tail. So as it's moving through the water, it's making almost a little bubble trail and just that extra bit of uh, presentation on your bait without making it go flying crazy like the paddle tail does. Now you wanna take another step down from that to some really finesse trailers. And it's gonna be the big white baits, Kamikaze Swim On and their new split tail version. This is an awesome, awesome option, guys. Like I said, split tail. It's a little bit smaller yet than its Kamikaze Swimon brother, but this bait is awesome. It's the perfect profile when I'm out on the St. Lawrence River or I'm fishing smallmouth. You need a little bit smaller presentation or the fish are a little bit tight-lipped and you want something to just kind of throw on the back. That's my favorite. Guys, the season's coming up and I can't wait. Thanks for watching and have a good one.